Hey guys, Kirsten here at Redwater Dodge, home of the $10 oil change, Rig Ready Rams, and now we buy your Ram. Behind me, there's one of our newest vehicles. This is a 2022 Ram 1500 Limited. Uh, this truck has a couple really cool features. Uh, first off, if you look at the back here, you can actually drop the tailgate from the remote here. Um, second thing you can do, I just have to make sure it's started for this one. So remote start, you just click the button twice, it's gonna honk, fire up, and then you can actually lower the entire truck from the remote here. So it has the four corner air suspension. If you click that twice, you can see the front end going down there and then the, oh, must be low on fuel, but it's still gonna lower. <laughs> uh, the back end here goes down as well, just making it a little bit easier to step into the truck. Um, once it's done here, it goes down pretty low actually. It's gonna keep going here, there. Uh, that's about as low as it gets. With the proximity entry, it makes it super easy to open the door and then your uh, power running boards. It's quite low now uh, to the ground with the four corner air suspension, making it really easy to get into your truck. But we'll check out the front end. Up at the front of the truck, you have your color matching bumper, built in park sensors. You have lots of flashy chrome on this truck. So your grill is chrome, all of your badging is chrome and then your tow hooks are also chrome. Uh, underneath the hood, you have the 5.7 liter Hemi. Uh, along the side, the chrome continues, so you have your chrome badging up on the side of the hood, chrome 22-inch rims, your chrome uh, sport mirrors that also have your blind spot monitoring. They are also heated. Uh, chrome accents on your door handle as well as along the entire uh, bottom part of the cab. Uh, like I said, proximity entry, so you're going to have the power running boards as well. Uh, this one is the crew cab with the 5.7 box, but we'll check out the back. At the back of the truck, you have your color matching bumper, built-in park sensors. You have your chrome dual exhaust tips here. And then you have your hitch receiver, four and seven pin wiring, all of the chrome badging on the back as well, chrome accent on your tailgate. You also have your backup camera built right into the tailgate. Uh, on top of being able to lower it from your remote and inside the truck, I'll show you that button after. But there is also a button underneath there for the soft open tailgate. This one, like I said, is the 5.7 box spray and bed liner, LED uh, bed lighting inside the box as well, but we'll check out the inside. All right, so on the inside of the truck, you have the really nice leather heated and cooled seats as well as the heated steering wheel. All of that is controlled right here in your screen, super quick and easy to access here. Um, you have two glove boxes in the truck. So one down here and then one up on top. You do have kind of like a, a blacked out chrome accent along the inside of the truck. It's really flashy and really nice. Um, in the center here, you have your limited stitching and badging on the center console. Flipping the first stage up, you have a USB port there. Even more space underneath, whoops, in underneath here. Um, this piece obviously slides around, making it customizable. And then you have nice little covers for your little storage container here, as well as your cup holders here. Sliding this back, you do have your wireless phone charger here. So you just push your phone down into there. 115 volt plug-in down lower. Uh, you have your four different USB ports here, your auxiliary port, obviously the 12 inch screen in this one. Um, you can do lots on it. So like I said, you can control your heated seats, heated steering wheel, that's your cooled seats. Uh, you can control your temperature really quick and easily here. Uh, if you don't wanna use the screen for your temperature you do have the dual climate control on either side of the vehicle here um, and then your fan controls and um, your controls for which vents it comes out of on your 12 inch screen you can also access your navigation all of your media controls for your alpine sound system kind of a cool feature like i said outside the truck is low on fuel right now um, it is going to register that when you're on navigation you can just hit yes to find a fuel station and it's going to show us all of the fuel stations that are um, close enough for us to get to. Uh, you have your front and rear park sensors that you can turn on and off, your tow haul mode, traction control, and then this is the button that controls the height of the vehicle. So like I said, outside, you can lower it using the remote. Uh, same thing, you can bring the truck up from inside here. So once you've lowered it to get in, you just click this up as many times as you need to. Um, so right now we're in an aerodynamic ride height and then you can click it up again and the truck is raising up again here and it's going to show you here so now we're at the normal ride height and then it goes up one more stage here 
And you do get a little flashing thing on your cluster here that says raising or lowering, whichever one you're doing. And then once it's achieved, it stops and it says off-road one ride height achieved. Um, the truck will automatically level out to whichever one it deems necessary. So if you're driving down the highway, it's obviously not going to stay in off-road height. Um, it is going to go down to either normal or the aerodynamic mode, just depending on what it feels is best for fuel consumption and such. Um, you have your built-in trailer brake controller on the truck. You also have your gear shift here, all of your 4x4 controls. It is the push button start. You have all of your cruise control settings on the right hand side, your gear limit switches on the steering wheel, all of your Bluetooth settings are on the left, and then you have your audio controls on the back for the Alpine sound system. Uh, moving over here, you have your power folding mirrors. They also are power moving. Uh, you have all of your window controls, your two-stage driver memory seat controls are here, all of your electronic park brakes, your um, power adjustable pedals, and all of your headlight controls are just down here. Looking up in the truck, you have your universal garage door opener on the driver um, sun visor here. And then this is the button that I was telling you about at the back. If you press that, it drops the tailgate. Uh, you also have your, this is the one I'm looking for, uh, your full panoramic sunroof in this truck. And then you also have the power sliding rear window. Uh, this goes back one more stage to access the full panoramic sunroof but we'll check out the back seat. In the back of the truck, you have the really nice leather seats in the back here. The back two seats are heated, uh, really cool. You can also recline this. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it while I'm standing out here. Um, you can recline the seats as well. So this seat, uh, or the bottom part slides forward and then they actually rec recline quite comfortably. And then they also fold up. So I'm just gonna push that back, but they also fold up for lots of storage underneath. This piece clips in so that it's not going to rattle around. If you do need a little bit more space, this piece just flips up to give you a little bit additional space. Flipping that back up. Underneath your floor mats, you have the in-floor ram bins, super helpful for storage. And then if you don't like the carpet piece in the floor mats, it is quite nice. You can just pull them out, um, even just to wash them. Uh, but you can pull this piece right out if you want to. And then it's just an all-weather floor mat underneath. They redesigned this whole uh, flip down center console portion. So just pulling on that, you have your flip down cup holders and you even have a little bit of storage in the back here as well. And then just up at the back of your center console area of the front, you have your two cup holders here. You can put a tablet in here if you want. And then you have your heated seat controls, your four USBs, as well as your 115 volt plug-in for your passengers to charge anything they have back here. If you're interested in this truck and want to see 30 plus pictures and pricing, give us a call 780-942-3629.